Hello friends. So today we have another term in linguistics. Uh, the phoneme. Phoneme means the smallest functional unit in a language. Very important. First point is smallest. Second is functional. And third is distinctive. Functional distinctive unit. Smallest functional distinctive meaningless. There's no meaning. Unit in the language. So smallest means you cannot further divide it. For example, per. You cannot divide it further. If you divide, you will get something like this. So it has no, otherwise also no shape at all. So that is the test for smallest. For example, what is the smallest coin as far as our, our currency is concerned? It is the smallest coin. That is Naya Paisa. You cannot break it. If you break it or try to make it smaller, it, it will have lost its shape and also its value. So then, like that, for example, in uh, weighing now, we have got the milligram as the smallest. And uh, measuring, you have got the uh, millimeter. Isn't it? Millimeter is. So like that, the smallest unit of a language, of a language, this, this is very important, of a language, is the phoneme. And the, as you can see, it has a function. Its function is to show difference between words or utterances. Now how will you show this? You can show this by minimal pair test. And what is a minimal pair? See, for a, if you have got a, a, a pair like this, bin, pin and bin, you call this minimal pair. Why? Because you find only in this pair the difference is only one sound. Only one sound is different. For example, here you see this is same, this is same. But the difference is this one sound here is different, one sound here is different. That's why these two words have, we understand it differently. So when you say that, eh? A phoneme has the power to distinguish between utterances, utterances uh, or words. No? Then that means if you replace one phoneme by another, it makes it becomes a different word. For example, you have got pin here. Okay. And then instead of this, you replace it by B, then it becomes a different word. That is how you show that this uh, phonemes have the function to distinguish between words or distinguish between utterances. Now, minimal pair is another term that you should study. That means uh, two words, a pair of words of which there is only difference in one sound. For example, you have got a, see you have got a, a ball, ball, see, and then or, or Ana, that's better now. Ana. Ana, Jana. See, here also you find these are minimal pair. This is a minimal pair. Why? Because the difference is only in one sound. That's it. That's, therefore, we said. Now, if you want to show this uh, uh, difference between this, sir, that A and Ja, they are uh, phonemes in Hindi and uh, they have got the power to distinguish between these two words or any number of words for that matter. For us, for us, we consider this as the minimal pair. You just replace this by pa. See that? Pana. See? Another, another word, isn't it? Pana. And then you have got a, you replace this by this. Another, another one, Ghana. See this? Pana, Ghana. Again, Another minimal pair. So this is the minimal pair test by which Pana Gana. Minimal pair means a pair of words of which there is only 
difference in one sound. So by by showing this, replacing one phoneme by another, if we can affect a change or a distribution between words, then that means the, the phonemes they have got power to distinguish between words. That is the function. The function of any phoneme in any language is to show difference between words. Listen that. One word is different from the other because they, these words have got a different set of phonemes. For example, cat is different from is sat. Why? Here again I am minimal verifying. These two are same, but k and s that they are different and they make the difference. So first point is modus, you cannot further divide it. Second is function. Function is to show difference between uh, utterances of words. And that is done by that is done because this happens because these are distinctive units or they say all the phonemes in a language are contrastive. Contrastive. Or they have differential relation, different relation. They are, each one is different. For example, English has got the we know 44 phonemes or 44 sounds. You will find that all the 44 sounds are different. As you can see, I will very quickly write them on the board so that you get a first hand idea of this. And you have got the consonant phonemes in a p, b, t, d, k, g, f, w, t, d, s, s, sh, j, ha, aj, aj, and you have got others like l, m, n, n, r, w, and y. Consonant. See, we can see now. Not even a single phoneme is similar to the other. Means each and every phoneme is distinct. Otherwise, you cannot have different words in language. Suppose all the phonemes of the language are the same, then you only you will find only sim same words in the language, not different words. Okay. Then you have got vowel phonemes, pure vowels, e, 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 a, 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 o. O, 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 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we have got the consonant phonemes. We have got the A, I, O, I, E, 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 O, E, O, 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 and O. These are the English phonemes, 44 English phonemes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So, you have got 44 phonemes. Sometimes you will find, you know, they as these are called phonetic symbols, international phonetic symbols, this. Our international phonetic alphabet. And that means, when you see difference, you just one minute if you uh, look at this, you will find. When you write any one of these symbols within square brackets, this means the meaning of this is this is a bilabial voiceless posy. But when you write it within slang slashes, this means it's a bilabial voiceless posy that belongs to. English. That's what I said. Phonemes are, phonemes belong to a language. Phonetic symbols need not belong to any language. Phon phonetic symbols don't belong to any language. They just tell you this. This means this is a bilabial, bilabial, voiceless, voiceless posy. That's all. But here it means a bilabial, voiceless, 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 plosive that belongs to 
English. So that is the difference. This is a phonetic symbol, this is a phonemic symbol. Phonemic sim sim symbols and phonemic transcriptions are always written within slashes. But phonetic symbols and phonetic transcriptions are written within square brackets. I think elsewhere also, elsewhere also I, I have uh, clarified this point. Hope that it is now very clear to you. And so we say, uh, wherever we say, phonemes smallest, smallest means further you cannot divide it. Secondly, it is, this, it is, it is functional. Function is to show difference between words or utterances. Utterances. U T T. Utterance. Utterances. Or uh, uh, then function is that. So they are distinctive. They are language specific. Language specific. That means they belong to particular languages. In this case, it is English. Minimal pair it is a test. Minimal pair test. To show that phonemes are in contrastive relation or they have the power to show difference between words. Because when you replace one phoneme by another, it becomes a different word, as we have seen in Hindi as well as in English. <coughs> Sorry, I hope that you have understood this very clearly. So, bye.